We'll continue to talk about the election, but all of this, of course, Dr. Jen, is happening in the backdrop of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And the all highest cases we have seen thus far since the pandemic It's remarkable started. that we are making, we are setting records um, in this, uh, right now, at this yeah. point in this pandemic that we're so many months in. So let's get the latest numbers here uh, from Johns Hopkins University. 48.7 million confirmed cases of coronavirus around the world. More than 9.6 million here in the U.S. More than 234,000 American lives have been lost. And this is something interesting here. We are talking about out. Um, what in the world is happening in Denmark? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this idea, and again, I read it and I took a pause, yep. but we're talking about they are actually slaughtering animals because of a possible issue with the virus and a mutation. You please explain to me what's happening. Here. Exactly, TJ. And this sheds light on why we have to keep our eye not just on coronavirus, but other emerging zoonotic infectious diseases. This information is just coming in, so let's go through it slowly. First of all, the background here. We know that coronaviruses infect animal species, including weasels, of which mink is part of that weasel family. In September, here in the U.S., mink in Utah were slaughtered after some strains of SARS-CoV-2 were detected in those animals out of an abundance of caution. Now in Denmark, the prime minister has just reported to the World Health Organization plans to slaughter millions of mink after a strain, a mutated strain of SARS-CoV-2 was detected in mink and then found in at least 12 people in Denmark. So again, out of an abundance of caution, there has not yet been any scientific data released or peer-reviewed yet. So it's difficult to really deep uh, do a deep dive on this. The World Health Organization is investigated. Okay, bottom line for us. Animals, uh, mutation, coronavirus sounds scary to us, but please. Yeah, here's the story behind that headline, TJ. We know that viruses mutate for a living. Not mm. every mutation makes it more dangerous. We also know that coronaviruses infect animals. So until we know more, we really can't comment on the significance of this. But animal rights activists reminding us again mm. that if we want to get a handle on this pandemic and prevent others, we have to do better with how we live with animals. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. You uh, headline always, uh, always give us a important headlines there. Uh, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.